Top 7 Most Dangerous Dog Breeds You should know number 1. Pit Bulls This probably won't surprise anyone because pit bulls, while lovable, have a bad reputation for violence. The term pit bull is a catch-all that's become commonplace. It's an umbrella that includes numerous bulldogs and terriers instead of applying to a single breed. Over a period of 13 years, the group was responsible for about two-three of all fatal dog bites in the United States, with 284 deaths. If that number doesn't surprise you, it may shock you to learn that only 6% of all dogs in the country fit the pit bull category. Spending generations as hunting dogs and fighting dogs, they were bred to be dangerous. They have large bodies, strong jaws, and honed instincts. The unfortunate truth is that other animals, even human beings, don't stand much of a chance against a pit bull. Number two, Rottweilers before pit bulls gained a reputation as dangerous. The Rottweiler was at the top of the list of most dangerous dog breeds. These powerhouses can grow up to be 120 pounds and remain in good health. They are large and have a temper that can break bad when a situation goes south. More specifically, they are friendly and protective of those in their own home. However, that protection does not include any guests. During the period of the study, the Rottweiler was responsible for 45 fatal attacks. They have a powerful bite and know how to use it. Number three, German Shepherds. German Shepherds are workers with a history in law enforcement and militaries. They are intelligent, powerful, strong, and dangerous dogs able to inflict deadly attacks. On average, they weigh around 90 pounds and reach a height of two feet. They are a great asset against human threats after generations of breeding that made them an effective weapon. German Shepherds tend to be aggressive and territorial, causing 20 deaths in the aforementioned study. Additionally, they account for numerous non-fatal bites. Fortunately, they are highly trainable. Number four, people love bull mastiffs because they are alert, fearless, and devoted to their families. They are great for home protection, but don't always enjoy visitors. If you want a bull mastiff, it's important to curb that behavior while they are young to prevent bites. Attacks by this breed aren't frequent, but they are large enough to inflict severe damage. On average, they weigh up to 130 pounds. They represent 14 deaths in the study, 3.2% of all fatal attacks. Again, the numbers don't seem that high, but how often do you see a bull mastiff in the United States? Number 5. Siberian Huskies We love huskies because they look like wolves we can play with or keep at home. So, is it surprising that they act like wild animals at times? Initially, people used Siberian Huskies to reach the coldest areas of North America. While they don't weigh as much as other dogs on this list, they are independent and strong. Moreover, they seek out prey to catch, which can include smaller animals as well as humans. Generally, it's the Huskies' survival instincts that cause the biggest problems. In the study cited above, they were involved in 3% of all fatal attacks. While they have a friendly demeanor more often, they have a record of attacking children and adults who challenge them. Unfortunately, even a husky without a history of aggression can give in to their instincts. Number 6. Boxers Boxers have a dopey look about them that gives people a sense of ease around them. However, they are working dogs with a lot of energy and a lot of muscle. Couple that with their protective nature and you have the potential for a problem. When the dog doesn't trust someone or perceives them as a threat, they are capable of defending themselves. According to the study, they only caused seven deaths. However, they have a history of non-fatal bites too. As with other aggressive breeds, it's important to know how to handle and train this breed from a young age. Number seven, Presa Canario. One of the planet's most imposing and most dangerous dog breeds is the Presa Canario, or simply Presa. With the right training, a Presa is a loyal pet and a great guard dog. However, they are also bred to be fighting dogs and have an aggressive temperament when it doesn't receive proper training. Over that same 32-year period, Presas attacked 111 people, including 18 deaths and 63 maiming incidents. In that same study, 150 breeds had at least a single attack, but the Presa was at four 